Hey, Dina here. Um, this is kind of random, but I'm just getting over having some kind of stomach bug and I basically felt crappy for the better part of the week. Now that I'm over it, I feel really, really good and I feel like celebrating, so, um, let's play Undertale. <laughs> okay, here we go. Sorry about the steam thingy. You can just read this on your own. Um, I should say right away that I don't necessarily plan on playing the whole game. I just, I'm just kind of doing this for fun and I'm mainly just going to do the first level or two. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. I, I'd actually kind of maybe like to do a, um, a game den on this, but we'll see. Like I said, right now I'm just doing this for fun. I, um, I don't even really expect to get very many views because like everybody is doing Let's Plays of Undertale right now. So yeah, I really am doing this just purely for fun. <laughs> well, I think most people skip over this. I know Markiplier did. Um, yeah, the gist of it is like monsters and humans are at war with each other and the humans sealed the monsters underground, but there's a... But there's a mountain, and if somebody falls off of it, they can end up in the monster's lair or something. Whatever. Undertale! True reset. Yes, I've played this before. <laughs> uh, I'm naming my character after a font because that's kind of a thing in this game. <laughs> Lithos Pro is the font that I use for the Film Den title screens. So, there I am. <laughs> I kind of dig how goofy looking this character is. All right. Howdy, I'm Flowey. Flowey the flower. Oh, hi Flowey. Hmm, you're new to the underground, aren't ya? Golly, you must be so confused. Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. I guess little old me will have to do. Well, that's awfully kind of you, Flowey. Ready? Here we go! See that heart? That's your soul. The very culmination of your being. Your soul starts off weak, but you can grow strong if you gain lots of love. LV. What's LV stand for? Why love, of course. Yeah, I kind of spoiled that. You want some love, don't you? Don't worry, I'll share some with you. I don't want any of your love, Flowey. Down here, love is shared through little white friendliness pellets. Are you ready? Move around, get as many as you can. <gasps> no. You idiot. In this world, it's kill or be killed. Why would anyone pass up an opportunity like this? No! I love that face. It's so creepy looking. Die! <laughs> oh no, what'll I do? <laughs> Goat mom to the rescue! What a terrible creature torturing such a poor innocent youth! Ah, oh, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You are the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. This way. Just wanted to check and make sure my recording was working there. It appears to be. <laughs> she like waits for me. <laughs> oh, I love you, Toriel. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. <laughs> the ruins are full of puzzles, almost like a video game. 
Ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the sight of them. Okay. Only the fearless may proceed. Brave ones, foolish ones, both walk not the middle road. Hmm. Nope. Okay. <laughs> to make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. Press Z to read signs. Or enter works too, I found. <laughs> I wonder what switch I'm supposed to press. The first switch is over on the wall. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice sounds terrible right now. Oh my god, I love Toriel. She totally babies you. Go on, press the switch on the left. I'm trying to do like a lilting Princess Celestia thing with my voice, but it's like not... It's probably gonna sound terrible to me when I, when I watch this video later. Splendid, I am proud of you, little one. Let us move to the next room. This wish doesn't even work. <laughs> I'll bet probably none of them do it. Well, no, they would have to do something. As a living human in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Stall for time. I will come to resolve the conflict. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be able to do that for the rest of the game, right? Practice talking to the dummy. <laughs> do you need some ideas for conversation topics? Well, I often start with a simple, how do you do? You could ask them about their favorite books. Jokes can be useful for breaking the ice. Listen to this one. What did the skeleton tile his roof with? Shingles! Well, I thought it was amusing. <laughs> okay, let's strike up a conversation with this dummy. Yeah, I'm gonna do it right. <laughs> well, I've made Tori all happy, that's all that matters. Ah, <laughs> uh, very good. You are very good. Thanks, Goat Mom. There's another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. Whoops. Froggit? Uh, I think you're supposed to compliment Froggits. Froggit didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyway. <laughs> She's like, that's right. You stay gone. The western room is the eastern room's blueprint. <laughs> she keeps waiting for me. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm endlessly amused by Toriel. She's about to do something even cuter. Well, oh. This is the puzzle, but here, take my hand for a moment. Oh, look at her looking back at me and smiling. Oh. <laughs> Toriel is best goat mom. I'll talk a little bit more once I get separated from her and I'm able to. Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. <laughs> you have done excellently thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Oh shit, I don't know if I can handle that, Toriel. Forgive me for this. <laughs> oh, I love this game, I do. It's like... If you play the fat pacifist route, which I'm obviously doing, it's like such a feel-good experience. Oh, just a long path. Oh, you're such a sly one. Greetings, my child. Do not worry, I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Thank you for trusting me. However, there was an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. 
I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. If you have a need for anything, just call. Be good, all right? <laughs> so, like, first time I played this game, I immediately fell in love with Toriel. Actually, okay. My first experience with this game was watching Lee play it. Oh my god. <laughs> Hello, this is Toriel. You have not left the room, have you? Of course not. There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try to solve them yourself. Be good, all right? <laughs> Click. Uh, what was I saying? Okay, so my first experience with this game was watching Lee play it, because I, I had not heard anything about it. Ribbit, ribbit. Excuse me, human. I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. If a monster does not want to fight you, please, use some mercy, human. Ribbit. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> playfully crinkling through the leaves fills you with determination. HP fully restored. I think your HP restores every time you save. Um, maybe it depends on the area. Oh, God. The only downside to the pacifist run is that the fights do get kind of, uh, repetitive. Oh, I don't even need to do anything with this guy. Watch. Oh, escape. Escape. It's not- oh, okay. I'm hitting the wrong thing. Okay, whatever. Console? <laughs> I won! Hmm. Okay, wait. Yeah, there's no way through this, but you can just go right through this door and you end up on the other side, so... Yeah, Toriel acts like the ruins are so dang- oh god. <laughs> Hello, this is Toriel. <laughs> Who else would it be? For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? Uh... <laughs> It doesn't really matter, but I'll, I guess I'll pick cinnamon. Oh, I see. Thank you very much. Click. Um. <laughs> Hello, this is Toriel. You do not dislike butterscotch, do you? I know what your preference is, but... Would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? No, I'm good with butterscotch, thanks. Right, right, I understand. Thank you for being patient. By the way. Click. So can I walk more than two steps without my phone ringing? Okay. <laughs> Three out of four gray rocks recommend you push them. I think I was trying to say something a minute ago and now I forgot what it was. Oh, fuck. Oh. I think you can't- yeah. Compliment. You are totally hot, Froggit. Froggit didn't understand what you said but was flattered anyway. Blushes deeply, ribbit. Seems reluctant to fight you. Mercy. Spare. So you get no XP, but you do get some gold. <laughs> for doing that. Actually, you know what? I think I missed something up there. So I'm gonna backtrack a little bit. I think there was actually a... Yeah, okay, yeah. It says, take one. Take a piece of candy? Yes. I took a piece of candy. Take one? Yes. How disgusting. Take one. Take a candy? Yes. You take another piece. You feel like the scum of the earth. <laughs> take one? <laughs> yes. You took too much too fast. The candy spills onto the floor. <laughs> Look at what you've done. I love this game. Um, yeah, so as I was saying, I can just give this guy mercy right away. I don't even have to do anything. Um, uh, 
Oh god. Dude. You're just gonna let me spare you anyway, why do you bother? Okay, um... <laughs> My first, um, experience with this game was watching Lee play it. I actually had not heard of it. I didn't know anything about it, just he had watched... He had- okay, let me see if I can remember how to do this. He had begun to watch someone's Let's Play, and he thought the game looked so good that he immediately, uh, downloaded it. Let's see... Oh, I did it! Nice. Oh, actually I can spare this guy right away, too. Um... Okay, that's weird. I don't know how to back out of... Okay, flirt. Whoops! Okay, that was dumb. Okay, mercy. Spare. I don't know how to, um, back out of a... I don't know if it's because of the... The software I'm using to record this is making it... things wonky, but I'm suddenly... <laughs> Whoa there, partner! Who said you could push me around? Hmm? So you're asking me to move over? Okay, just for you, pumpkin. <laughs> just for you, pumpkin. Huh? You want me to move some more? Alrighty, how's this? <laughs> hmm? That was the wrong direction? Okay, think I got it. Was that helpful? So far. Aha, of course he did. Huh? You wanted me to stay there? You're giving me a real workout. Aren't things easier when you just ask? <laughs> That's debatable. Knowing the mouse might one day leave its hole and get the cheese, it fills you with determination. This cheese has been here quite a long time. It's stuck to the table. I love that for some reason. Uh, okay. Z, Z. Are they gone yet? Z, 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 Z. This ghost keeps saying Z out loud repeatedly, pretending to be asleep. Move it with force. I think you have to? Here comes Napstablook. Okay. Cheer him on, because he needs it, or it. Gave Napstablook a patient smile. Heh. <laughs> Looks just a little bit better. Cheer him on some more. You'll tell Naps to book a little joke. Nah. <laughs> really not feeling up to it right now, sorry. <laughs> oh. Saddest monster ever. Naps to book wants to show you something. Let me try. I call it Dapper Book. <laughs> Way to go, that looks awesome. <laughs> That looks awesome. Oh, gee. I usually come to the ruins because there's nobody around, but today I met somebody nice. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. Thank you. Spider bake sale. Oh, I hope I have money for that. Come eat food made by spiders for spiders of spiders. <laughs> Yum. Ribbit, ribbit. <sighs> my friend never listens to me. Whenever I talk, they skip through my words by pressing X. That's right. Pressing X. Well, at least you listen to me. No, I press enter. <laughs> ribbit, ribbit. I heard using F4 can make you have a full screen. But what does F4 stand for? Four frogs? I've only seen a maximum of three frogs in this room. This is troubling, to say the least. Ribbit. Ribbit, ribbit. I have heard you are quite merciful for a human. Surely you know by now a monster wears a yellow name when you can spare it. What do you think of that? It's very helpful. It is rather helpful. Remember, sparing is just saying you won't fight. Maybe one day you'll have to do it even if their name isn't yellow. 
Hmm. Oh my god, Toriel. Hello, this is Toriel. Just kidding. I just realized that it has been a while since I have cleaned up. I was not expecting to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying around here and there. You can pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. Someday you might see something you really like. You will want to leave room in your pockets for that. Click. Thanks, Goat Mom. So, like, bit by bit, I'm trying to share my experience with playing this game for the first time, but every time I start talking, something comes up. So, yeah, first time I experienced this game, I watched Lee play it. I know there's a, ba I know there's a battle coming up, so I'm going to try to talk through it. <laughs> Vegetoid came out of the earth. Oh, shit, I'm screwed. I just, I just selected fight, and I don't know how to back out of it. Okay, there, act. You pat your stomach, Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. Eat your greens. Green restores your health. <laughs> Comes in very handy later on. Well now, see I'm stuck on act, I can't go back now. Whatever. I could stand her. Ah, get some of my health back anyway, although I just lost some more anyway, so yeah, that was pointless. Mercy! God! <laughs> it's more like I'm... I'm the one who wants mercy. Okay, I'm not gonna, um, do all those battles. Actually, let me see if I missed something really quick. I think I did. Yeah, I did. Let me backtrack. Spider bake sale. All proceeds go to real spiders. <laughs> Love this. Use 7G in the web. I've got only 9G. Let me say no for now. Leave 18G in the web. No. Okay, I've only got 9, so I'll go ahead and... Yes, I will leave 7G in the web. Some spiders crawled down and gave you a donut. <laughs> I love that kind of stuff in this game. It's so, like... I don't want to say cutesy, because cutesy sounds bad. Okay, I'm gonna skip the rest of these, like, battles with Vegetoid and stuff. Well, I think Napstabluck is in one of these. Yeah, there he is, or she, or it. Napstabluck doesn't actually have- what? Okay, that was random! Don't pick on him. Finally, someone gets it! It's kind of weird, though, because they attack you anyway, but... Maybe it, it probably affects their attack. Mercy? Yeah, spare. I fell down a hole, now I can't get up. Go on without me. Wait, ghosts can fly, can't they? Oh well. <laughs> oh, Blooky. Oh, I guess- oh, that's right, there are certain, like, levers I have to hit. Damn it! Okay. This guy just wants me to watch him dance. <laughs> Doesn't have a care in the world. So I'll spare him. Yay. Let me actually go back down here. Oh, that one at the middle top is the only one that has a lever, I think. Okay. There we go. Huh. Can I spare him? Nope. Oh, right, this is the guy who I have to, like, not pick on. Even though I essentially just did that. <laughs> this game is weird. Yes, dude, I totally get you. Let me go, okay? Okay, this is a bit weird. The far door is not an exit, it simply marks a rotation in perspective. So there's blue, yellow, red, and I think green, although you can't see the green. <laughs> I 
Awesome dance moves you got there, dude. These are the two best enemies because they don't attack at all. <laughs> well, the other one does if you allow it to, but... Ah! Come on, you guys. Can I just choose to not pick on both at the same time? Ah! Oh crap, I'm running really low on health, aren't I? Jesus. Crap, I should have, um... Oh, I'm so dumb! Can't believe I just let that happen. Ugh. Oh, Lithos! Stay determined. Ugh. I am so lame. Oh, crap. How much do I have to redo? Okay. Oh, crap. Okay. Uh, can we redo all this shit and then cut back to where I was? <laughs> oh, no, not you too. <laughs> yeah, I did press X that time. That's hilarious. I didn't realize the uh, dialogue went by faster when you hit X, so I'm going to keep that in mind for whenever I screw up. So basically the room just kind of rotates and you have to remember, uh, you have to remember where all the switches are. Here, I'll dance with him. Mercy. Okay. <laughs> this guy will not leave you alone until you watch him dance by himself. Wow. What a pain in the ass you are. I kind of liked you before, but I didn't realize it was like that. Let me fucking heal myself before I move on. It seems evil, but it's just with the wrong crowd. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, I'm in the wrong spot. Okay, mercy. <sighs> this fucking guy. Oh, for God's sake! <sighs> You're a dick. Oh, here we go. Okay, I, I probably edited it out, but I've actually died like three times, which is pathetic, but I'm actually gonna try to uh, flee more often if it'll let me. And the way it looks hilarious when he flees, watch. <laughs> the little heart grows legs and runs away. <laughs> that cracked me up first time I saw that. Okay, I think there's a safe spot up here. Oh, there's... Toriel's gonna show up there, but let me see what's up here. Over here, um... Hi, Froggit. Just between you and me. I saw Toriel come out of here just a little while ago. She was carrying some groceries. It didn't ask- I didn't ask what they were for. We're all too intimidated to talk to her, Ribbit. 